Megalomorphs. This primitive spider group contains tarantulas, trapdoor spiders, funnel webs, and more. These heavy-bodied, large, and stout arachnids can be found all over the world and are some of the most iconic and recognizable species on Earth. My name is Jack, and I travel all over the world searching for the strangest and most dangerous creatures in existence. My whole life I've been fascinated by these animals, and I want to get up close and personal to see if we truly have the right idea about them. Should we fear the creepy crawlies or deadly creatures of the planet, or are we missing the whole picture? Well, today I'm traveling deep into the heart of Florida on the search for a spider you may have never even known was there. Are they dangerous? Is this a secret invasion? They will be tricky to capture, but I'm up for the challenge. So let's see if we can catch one of these strange arachnids. So basically, how I'm going to be looking for these spiders today is I'm going to be scanning at the base of these trees. These lovely little arachnids are actually making my job pretty easy because I will be able to use my powerful expert wildlife eyes to locate their iconic and masterful tube webs. And I'll be able to see that and I'll be able to know there's a purse web right there. And that's where the tricky business comes in because we're gonna have to trick one of these spiders into thinking we are delectable and juicy insects in order to get them out of the safety of the underground portion of their web and to get them into a position where we can capture one. But uh, I think we've uh, got luck on our side today and I'm hoping that we'll be able to rustle up a good sized purse web spider. Now, Spencer and I had seen quite a few of these smaller purse web spider webs, so we want to test and see if our technique is going to work if we're going to find and capture a much larger one. Maybe I did. I totally got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to push it into a closed container. That one's actually decent, decent enough size. size. Look at that. Yeah, I'll put this guy on my hand. This gal, I should say. Look at that Tubby thing. <laughs> wow, that thing's cool. Now, these purse web spiders have some of the most impressive fangs I've ever seen. They're long and fairly straight, and these fangs are some of the most important tools that these arachnids possess. As they hunt, they wait for an insect or other small animal to walk over their web, and they will run up the inside of this web and pierce through the wall with those massive fangs, tearing their helpless victim into their webbed tube and pulling them deep underground, never to be seen again. Yikes. So we found quite a few smaller tubes so far. Not quite what I'm hoping to see. I want to find a big, juicy, voluptuous female. So we're going to keep looking because I, I'm, I'm not all right with showing you guys these itty bitty little juveniles we've been finding. I want to give you something that you go, <laughs> I came to the right place today, Jack. That's a, let me tell you something. That's a nice spider you got there. That's, that's how I want every single one of you to be talking to your screens when you see the spider we find today. Copy? So, uh, I won't rest. I won't take a break. I won't take a breather. I won't drink any water. I won't eat any food. I won't go to the bathroom until we find a spider up to your standards, America and the rest of the world. Let's keep going. Finally, we found the web of a massive purse web spider on the base of a tree. All right, we have just found the largest purse web tube right here. And uh, we are going to do our best to basically tempt this spider into coming out. So basically what Spencer and I are gonna do is try and trick this spider into thinking that we're prey and then trying to grab it when it comes out. Watch that. 
reach the bottom. Any more movement? Mm -mm. Oh, I think it's in here. It's in here. You got it? I think so. I just decided to go ahead and just pin it at the bottom to see. Yeah, I think it's in here. Is it in? Yeah, it's right there at the bottom. Yeah, it's moving. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Let me try it. Very hungry. Yeah. Being a Jack for the Wildlife episode. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, nice female. Uh, <laughs> look at that thing, folks. That is a monster. Wow, take a look. Throw it in my hand. I don't care if she bites me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That is the spider I was hoping to fish out of that web. She was hesitant. She didn't want to give away her position because that's the perfect adaptation of these lovely little arachnids. They are so good at just picking the right moment. And that's why she's lived here for so many years. She knows how to do things. She knows how to survive. Oh my gosh, we got our purse web. Although these purse webs may morphologically resemble the fearsome Sydney funnel web spider, they are a native megalomorph here in the US. You may even live close to these spiders and not even know it. The females will live their whole lives safely tucked away in their webs. Males, once mature, have to venture out to find females to mate with before their much shorter lifespan comes to a close. There's something about the stocky and intimidating build of these spiders I find particularly fascinating. And while you can't find Cindy funnel webs in the state of Florida, these are more than a welcome substitute. Oh man, this is a cool spider. These purse webs. I know what you're thinking, right? Jack, what the? Is that a funnel web spider? Well, my friends, not technically, but these are cousins of, yes, even the venomous Sydney funnel web. How are they related? Well, these animals are megalomorphs, a type of primitive spider. So these aren't true spiders like widow spiders or orb weavers. They are part of a more ancient lineage. So these are related to things like tarantulas, trapdoor spiders, and yes, even funnel webs. So they have that kind of big, bulky, heavy body plan and also characteristically have their fangs positioned to pinch directly underneath their body, whereas true spider's fangs pinch inward from the sides. These are absolutely spectacular little arachnids, and I am stoked to finally be able to see one of these. These purse webs are so cool, and it's so much fun trying to capture them because they have this kind of accessible web that you can see and kind of get to. Trapdoor spiders can be really tough because I have to basically keep my eye out for that little kind of circular hatch opening of the trapdoor spiders. But these purse webs definitely made our jobs easier today because we're able to basically scan for large tube-like webs to find these amazing little arachnids. Now, of course, unlike the Sydney funnel web spiders or larger, more dangerous megalomorphs, uh, these stay relatively small. They can get a little bit larger than this, but this is a good sized female here. Now, their venom is primarily used to procure invertebrate prey. There's not many components that would scare me as a large mammalian vertebrate. So I don't really have much to fear other than maybe some irritation and 
potentially a good amount of pain if this uh, lovely little spider here decided to uh, defend herself against me. But as you can see, this spider does not feel threatened. She doesn't feel the need to bite me, to rear up in a threat display, although that would be quite cool for the camera. Uh, she doesn't feel threatened in this moment. She's just kind of confused. She's like, a second ago, I thought I was about to eat a delicious and juicy snack. And now I'm wandering over the weirdest person in the world's hands as he is talking about my behavior and ecology. But uh, that's just the way things go here on a regular Monday here at Jack's World of Wildlife. We, uh, we go, we find these weird, awesome, wacky arachnids, and uh, we have a wonderful time. And yes, sometimes we confuse a few arachnids on the way who uh, have no idea what's going on. You're not eating me. You're not trying to kill me. What are you doing? I'm just wanting to show the world the fantastic world of the purse web spider. Now you might be at home wondering, what the heck do these lovely little purse web spiders eat? Well, they are invertebrate specialists. These lovely little webbed tubes allow them to pick up on even the smallest of vibrations. In fact, just over there, I, we saw a nice tube that was actually dotted in the wings of termite elates. It's nice and wet here in the fall here in Florida. And so there's some termites, maybe even a few species of ants that will come out and have nuptial flights. And that is a bountiful feast, a regular door dash for these lovely little creatures who just have to wait in the safety of their burrows and wait for unsuspecting termites who are looking to just start a new colony to kind of walk haphazardly over this webbing tube and then these lovely spiders will creep up slowly and stealthily within the safety of that webbed cylinder and then they will grab the insect sometimes while they're still inside of their tube they'll rip a little hole open and they'll pull that insect down into the depths into their underground component of their web and then they will pierce it with those sharp fangs inject it with that virile venom that starts to dissolve and digest that invertebrate so that they are able to kill and eat it they are fascinating little arachnids and one that I, it's just a dream come true to be able to find one of these beautiful spiders and to be able to find one that's large enough that we can see some really fantastic detail. So as you can see, these are not only beautiful and amazing arachnids, but we do not need to fear them at all. They are native and they are not dangerous. These spiders could very easily even be in your own backyard and you would be none the wiser. They are happy to remain in their webs, hunting small invertebrates and living their lives far away from us humans. Well, my friends, I think that's just about all the time we have with our lovely, lovely little purse web spider here. So we are going to hopefully be able to thread her back into that tube. They can, of course, uh, be put right back into that wonderful little web tube and fix all of the damage uh, that we did uh, to it today pretty quickly. That abdomen is full of tons and tons and tons of silk. Um, so we're going to let her get back on her way. Um, but my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was super, super cool. My first beautiful big purse web spider. Um, and we just kind of happened upon them today. Uh, so I was really, really stoked to be able to come out and film this lovely, lovely little arachnid. So my friends, thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, but if you didn't learn anything, I hope I can leave you with something. This planet is full of all sorts of amazing, spectacular, and sometimes maybe even creepy organisms. But we need to culture respect and admiration within ourselves for the natural world, even these kind of forgotten, unseen, and maybe even creepy crawlies. These animals serve an important role in their respective ecosystems. They're, they have a purpose to exist. They, they are doing a job here. And just because they might have too many legs for your preference or because they might look creepy doesn't mean they are any less important. So be sure to be a little kinder to your fellow earthlings. Maybe you don't recoil and discuss the next time you see a fantastic spider like this, but maybe you take a closer look and appreciate this animal for what it is, which is a fascinating and well-adapted creature. 
So thanks so much for tuning in today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next week with the next upload. But until then, of course, take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you next time.